Hi, my name is Keith Anderson from the University of Montana. Today we're going to talk a little bit about sampling error. What is it and what can be done about it as researchers? Most of you are familiar with sampling. Uh, as researchers, uh, we sample all the time in social science research, health science research, political science research. And sampling is simply selecting a subset of cases in order to make estimates about an entire population. Uh, it's often uh, impossible to survey an entire population, so it's easier and more appropriate just to take a sample of that population, study that sample, and then make estimates about the overall population based upon what you learn about the sample. Sampling error is the difference between the sample statistics and the population parameters. So your sample, while we're, we'll do our best to make the sample reflective of the population, it's always going to differ to some degree to the population, and that is sampling error. It occurs naturally. However, sampling error can also be influenced by the researcher and some of the mistakes they may make in their sampling design. And we'll take a look at a few of those mistakes. So sampling bias is one of the areas where uh, a researcher could make a mistake and increase the sampling error. Sampling bias is selecting a subset of cases that do not fully represent the population of interest. And I'll give you an example, and this happened um, many years ago in an election. Uh, what they did was they took a random sample of, of people who had their cars registered. So they had car registration, random sample from there. They contacted these people and they asked them, who are you going to vote for? Well, back in the time, this time, it was the 30s, uh, far more Republicans owned cars than Democrats. Um, so uh, when they asked them, who are you going to vote for? They overwhelmingly said Republican. They reported this, and um, in the actual election, FDR won by a landslide. Uh, a Democrat. So you can see here that there was a sample bias here. Response bias, uh, these are selective responses to surveys uh, due to barriers or limitations in responding. So an example might be um, if you wanted to contact people about um, their satisfaction with uh, street cleaning and you said, I'm going to call a random uh, sample of phone numbers on Saturday morning. A lot of people are home on Saturday morning. Well, that's great. You're going to capture quite a few people, but you're also going to miss those people who have to work on Saturdays, uh, who are out and about doing things on Saturdays. So you're not going to capture those people. Um, and that's response bias. You'd be better off calling on Saturday morning, Tuesday afternoon, and maybe Thursday evening and try to capture everyone. So these are some, some examples of sample bias and response bias that can contribute to sampling error. So the ways that we reduce sampling error uh, are we need to have really strong systematic random sampling designs. We need to understand our target population and what their behaviors are. Um, sample size is another way to reduce sampling error. In general, the larger your sample size, the more reflective that sample will be of the overall population. Of course, we have to take into account cost and time constraints here. Um, and oftentimes we can do a power analysis uh, which will determine um, the minimum sa sample size you need to run certain tests. And then finally, as I said, what we want to do is reduce sample bias and response bias. Um, and oftentimes we can do this through multiple follow-ups and eliminating some of the uh, barriers to participation. So sampling error, the takeaways. Your sample will always differ to some degree from the population. This is sampling error. What we want to do as researchers is to control and reduce sampling error through well-planned uh, well planned out sampling strategies, appropriate sample sizes, and again, reducing the biases that influence who responds to a survey and who does not respond to a survey. So that's sampling error in a nutshell. If you have any other questions, you can always contact us at the University of Montana. Thank you.